And sometimes in the winter, mm -hmm. sometimes in the spring, sometimes in the summer, sometimes in the fall, we yeah. go to the Keys. That's right. What happens when we go to the Keys? We have fun. We love the Keys because mm -hmm. if you cannot fish in the Keys, you should not go fishing. That's right. And we have really figured out some systems that yes, work out you're there. You're good at that. This time we were down here just a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. the wind was up so much we couldn't right. go out, so I fished right off the dock and caught all kinds you of stuff. You caught your limit it every day. looked just like that. Of course, right. we ate all of it down That's there. That's right. <laughs> this is a very simple recipe. It's amazingly good, though. One time, years ago, I took to Maria Bella. She was down in Radcliffe. Remember that? Had a Greek restaurant. Mm -hmm. Great, great cook. Great chef. What is a really simple recipe and, and how can you cook that and make something wonderful quickly? And she even looked at the fish. She was talking about how beautiful a fish yeah. is. And she's, she would give talks to kids in school. And this is her recipe. Now our oil is getting there. Very simple recipe. You take your fish, in this case, snapper, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And I'm gonna dredge that just slightly. And flour. I tell you, let's get ahead of the game, Mrs. Farmer. If okay. you take that and just pull the leaves off. I'll do it. Of our fresh rosemary. This stuff grows really well. It's the easiest one to grow, I think. That's probably the most hardy of any. Yeah. If I forget to water it, it still it goes. You can do this with any firm flesh fish. It really works well for striper. But we just got back from the keys. Got a hip snapper. Talk to my friend Barry, the boys. We got some fresh stuff. Our oil is ready. You caught your limit every day, didn't you? There? Yes. You did really What well. I was catching down there was mangrove snapper. Here's a picture of a mangrove snapper. I mean, Bob broke your line. Now, they can get up to four, five, six pounds. They, mm -hmm. When they get a little bigger, they almost look like a bass. Yeah. But they do have those teeth. You do oh, not yeah, want to lift that. a mangrove snapper. You were fighting those. They were pulling hard. Occasionally, one would get on and just take off. Yeah. And you couldn't do anything with them. Because I was fun. using light gear. <laughs> off the pier, right behind yeah. the house. Absolutely wonderful. Now we're just going to brown this medium hot skillet. You can see, if you look at the end of this, you can see it's almost like you're cooking a piece of tuna. Watch around the edges. This is not a real thick piece of fish, but watch the center. Mm -hmm. It'll be kind of pink. And watch that cook. By the time that you get that ring around the middle, by the time that you turn it over, it cooks through both sides. Yeah. And you're good, but you don't want to overdo it. And you want this to be beautiful and brown. I like that. Looks lovely. You could actually do this with a largemouth bass. Now, a lot mm -hmm. of people say, oh, you can't eat largemouth bass. Yes, you can. They taste pretty good. A round keeper <laughs> size. If you happen to accidentally catch one in the gills and he doesn't make it, he doesn't. Yeah, you got to eat them. What do you got to do? You, you got to eat them. Most like of the time hurt. when we fish. It's for food. It's for food. All right, now we're going to let that set. It looks beautiful. And now, Mrs. Farmer, Your we're going to come back with our rosemary. Oh, it smells good when it Doesn't cooks. Doesn't that smell yeah. wonderful? And we're going to come back with the splatter. You might want to stand back just a little bit, Mrs. Farmer. All right, I will. You mm, smell that. I like it. And then I'm just going to kind of reduce Ooh. this down. When that reduces down, I have just enough to pour off on that fish. Delish. Beautiful. Wonderful. All right, Mrs. Farmer. That looks really good. This it smells in, delicious. This is in celebration of one of the first shows we did. This goes way back to about 2000, I want to say 2006 or 7. Mm, now, look, first of all, look at that in the middle. Now, you notice the, the short amount of time we cooked it, but look at that in the oh, middle. Wow. Look how white and flaky that is. And crunchy on top. Crunchy on top. That's beautifully cooked. That's a great way to make fish. That was quick. I'm eating all the edges, the corners of the back. The red wine vinegar mm. that's reduced down with the olive oil. Wow. And the rosemary. Excellent, mm. excellent. Mm. That is yum, Papa. Mm. That's yum, Papa. All right, because I'm sure our friends and family out there do not want to see us chewing and that's eating right. all this. We're going to eat this with the cameras off. It's just a little. We can eat it quick. We can eat it quick. Then we're going to come back with some cake. We need to finish up with dessert. We need some icing for our cake. All right, let's eat. <laughs> 